hi this is destined to be authentic and free okay guys literally it's so amazingly funny i already started doing your video it was so amazing for divine masculine yeah and then that was it it was over all in the same moment so we are doing this again yes but i have these two that i left out i put the other ones away these two came out the presence of love will always cast out fear okay and in any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. So you can literally see that this person's world is dark, okay? there, There's nothing really here that's bringing them to life here, okay? So they're very fearful. Divine Masculine is in a fearful state. And I feel the Divine Masculine has been in a fearful state for a long time. Divine Masculine is trying to differentiate what is love looking for love searching for love the presence of love okay so divine feminine whatever the case may be divine masculine a lot of love is required the energy of love is required in any moment i can surrender to the powerful presence of love surrender to love like that's serious okay um we're seeing that here Okay, so this person's praying, they're in contemplation, and they're still right now, okay? They're looking for a deeper energy, they're looking for a deeper peace, a deeper sense of love to quench the fear that they have, okay? You can find out more about it, but they're definitely, you see this owl, this owl is wise, okay? You see the pink moon, which is all about love, right? So the universe has my back. Okay, so they're looking into a higher power in order to resolve anything that may not be unloving. Maybe how they were unloving or somebody else was unloving or whatever the case may be. So I'm going right into the Moon Oracle cards, the unexpected here. Yes, this is what I wanted to talk about. This is what came out and I'm so happy because this was in the Divine Feminine reading in the last card for the Blue Moon. Unexpected changes. Um, unexpected good luck, unexpected happiness. Um, but I was saying that this is somehow some twin energy here that is magnetically pulling, you see what is here, white and black into life, okay? This loving energy is electricity, okay? You can see these two moons, or, you know, whatever that is here. But, you know, it's bringing new life into the situation, which is fabulous. And you see this self-love, okay? So definitely so beautiful, this harmonization. Looks like Divine Masculine is coming into this energy of loving themselves enough to go to source or spirit, opposed to try and get it through manipulation or situations that don't serve them. Hence why you need to be patient. And this is in the Divine Feminine reading, okay? This is intense. Um, I'm happy this is all coming back out because this is about this foundation that this person is trying to get through. So it's very, very much mirroring Divine Feminine energy and I'm happy that it's showing that. But Divine Masculine has to step into their power from this full moon, okay? Um, the power is to connect with the Divine the power is to be conscious of what is love, what isn't love, what is good for you, because this is the contemplation and stillness that is happening here. This wisdom is divine knowledge, divine wisdom that's coming in here, and they have to accept it. This is acceptance, and I love this because this is one of the cards that, um, like I said, I, I couldn't <laughs> just delete it. But you see here all of these birds and then this red flowers, so the red creations or red leaves. This is for a foundation, white clarity so beautiful i wish i still had it anyways but you see this looks like a masculine arm and this looks like a feminine arm and if you saw the unexpected card again there was two people there okay so this is magnetic energy that is happening through these two people you see the spark of life is in their fingers but it is connected to an energetic source whether through the moon or the stars and that's for this foundation which was in the divine feminine reading okay so let's see what we can get here unexpected i can't lie about this stuff. let's see here let's see what will come out for divine masculine please thank you so much 
Yeah, faith, divine masculine is trying to have faith right now, is looking up to source exactly like I said, um, for this nurturance or for this abundance or whatever is being birthed here. Something is being birthed here. And they're trying to have faith in the unseen once again for this foundation. They're definitely not paying attention to what they see. They're paying attention to what they don't see. Hence why we see discernment. Discernment is all about seeing what is not seen. Being able to see through pretenses. Being able to understand things deeply. Discernment with this 10 here, the 10 is the very much completion. So let's just say this person has their cloud in the sky, like, like their head in the sky. Their head in the sky is relating to the fact that they're they're surpassing this third dimensional reality. With the gold here in between their hands, you know, these are the, the planets, you know, these are the cosmos. So this has something to do with you're creating gold on your planet by connecting to divine source, divine connection. And so this is what this person is doing. They're having the faith to do this. Yes, they're assessing, okay? The first quarter moon. They're really taking a look from this high vantage point, this clarity with the gold again, which we saw here, okay? This is helping them look forward towards the future in a singular energy, okay? They're really assessing what is good, what is not good. What do I want? What do I don't? What don't I want? What am I doing? And now we have attraction, okay? So beautiful, super moon, powerful energy here. So this 44, these double digits, and we see the four here again, with the three and the one, which is four, 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 with this new beginning. Definitely angelic messages, definitely foundation coming in here. So this attraction here, this person is attracting what they want. It, there's a lot of attraction here as well. So this person doesn't have to do a lot of work. They're really wielding this energy here from a sense of discernment and they're having faith. This is heavily manifestation power. But see, this person has to release the past. They have to walk away from this, make this transformation. And see, this person is holding on to all of these brambles. I would even under, yeah, the brambles almost looks like a part of her dress, but we have a lot of this white here. Um, and this is the red hair, which was in the initial spot of the divine feminine in the other reading, okay? So, and we have the four here once again. So that's like five fours, even though this is a nine, okay? So we're seeing a lot of synchronicities in the numbers already. But either way, somebody's moving forward um, in order to come out of something to where they didn't have a lot of space to breathe. They didn't have a lot of freedom here, okay? So I feel like the universe does has the back in making a singular transition to a foundation of faith. And they're trying to use this discernment to control this manifestation. Okay? They're trying to control what they want to wield in this world, in this universe. Okay? And this is why the universe has my back here. This is very much universal energies in this present moment. So this person has to be in a high level of love in order to attract what they want. And so now they're surrendering, right, to this powerful presence of love, which is attraction. Okay, but not manipulative attraction. This is hence why the discernment is here. I feel like the divine masculine has come into a higher level of discernment for their foundation. And they're really looking at what they want from what they don't want very seriously. Okay, I want to look at this past life issue for the faith. Why is the faith here for the wisdom exactly? Divine masculine has gained quite a bit of wisdom here in how they look at things. So when they look at the third dimensional um, energy, they're going to have fear because there's nothing that's in control right now, right? So they have nothing to do but to surrender and be able to discern what is loving and what is not loving. That's the place exactly, exactly. Since they were a baby, since they were a child here, you're going to see that this person has had a lot of fear. They probably didn't have a lot of love down to even as a child let's see here with the faith for the divine masculine piece okay yeah celtic healing exactly native american 
that's two healing cards and this is inside of themselves clarity to heal from with inside of themselves when you see the self-love and the celtic healing is definitely all about wholeness you see with the circle here in the middle and this is definitely a foundation here because we have the fours all over okay this is four directions yeah unrequited love this is what the divine masculine is healing from unrequited love not having feelings not showing emotions um, not being able to give and receive in proper emotional uh, levels or experience. And it looks like from a feminine figure, which could be their mother. Exactly. And so now they're praying, monk or nun, like I said before, prayer, contemplation. They're praying to leave this unconditional love foundation. Okay. And it has some biblical foundation. They might know the truth of where this comes from. So now they're using the discernment through spirit, like I said, um, with this 10 here to complete this cycle. Uh, yeah, spouse. This person that you are with is the person that you're supposed to be with, this person. So now they're trying to discern about this relationship. They're trying to maybe possibly give you the love that you are supposed to have in this relationship, okay? Male or female dynamics. So this is, you can see this here. This here is coming into the energy of love, okay? So right now, there would be some separate energy or some separate, like, okay, well, you didn't do this and you didn't do this and this and this, but the energy is still about love, right? The clarity to have, see, the discernment to be able to choose love here opposed to separation. Oh, this is so amazing. Look, the discernment between your real love and a karmic partner this is where the divine masculine look at this love life okay this person is from a past life and they need to heal this unrequited foundation move out of fear because they fear love they fear love you can see it and in this past foundation they're giving birth and this is from pregnancy this is from when their mother carried them in the womb they're being healed from this and this is why the discernment is here with the spouse and the male and female and karmic partner that is intense i'm gonna even just leave it all there so now the attraction is here with the 44 here about this foundation this person needs to a attract and wield at a high level of love in order to okay yeah this is too much it fell out but i'll tell you forgiveness the mother imprisonment slavery finances and baby so it looks like their mother possibly stole, used, deceived, and getting parental care from the butterfly cards. Like this person really took care of their mother a lot. They cared for their mother a lot, even though this person didn't give them much. And it played with their worth or it played with their value. Either way, now they're coming into this higher energy of mother, father, God, which is going to help them attract a better foundation of love that they're looking for hence why the event by masculine is in stillness right now why is attraction here please thank you so much yeah wisdom i can't lie I, this is serious okay wisdom this came out yeah you guys saw that kind of come out i think right there right so the wisdom this person's intuition this person's faith this person's clarity the white is a definite theme here this person has the wisdom to understand how or they're coming into the wisdom to understand how to attract what they want. What is attraction? What does it really mean? What do they really want? It comes to an A. So as above, so below, right? You have a spouse. You have a soul partner. You have something that you came here for, right? Did you come here for this karmic side of life or did you come here for love right so you now are coming into balance this masculine and feminine aspect of yourself so you can have more power and look all about communal living so this person's fear of not having enough this person's fear of whatever it is is affecting this love life and this is what they have to get over in this unrequited love here this is why they are praying okay this is why this person is praying Okay, so I'm going to leave this at communal living. Yeah, look, they have to release communal living. Look at this. They have to release this type of energy. Okay. Okay, so we have the Native American, Celtic, and faith recognition and reward for the divine masculine. What else do we have 
here for the divine masculine with this healing yeah financial material changes this is five of pentacles yeah they have to release feeling left out in the cold they have to feel this um lack of not like being loved or not worthy of love they've come into their spiritual source they've come into a higher vibration of love and this is why this healing is taking place because now they're feeling as though even though i was not lovable or even though i did all these things in unrequited energy because i was fearful now i'm feeling like oh wow i can have love and god is telling me that i can heal this person went through a lot of conflict and defeat and it might be hidden like people might not even know that this person was going through this amount of conflict and defeat okay so what is the divine masculine healing with this faith here what are they trying to give birth to here with this healing please okay See, emotional withdrawal. People talk about this person's walking away with this card, whatever the case is. No, this person is in a meditative state. They're praying, okay? This person is emotionally withdrawal because they're trying to find out their truth. At eight, as above, so below, okay? They're trying to find out how to heal from within themselves. So they've gone to source in order to feel that out. And this is why they're having this spiritual strength and this fortitude in this foundation. Because it's not actually them that's holding up this foundation. It's their higher self. It's spiritual um, deities, ancestors, whoever it is that's holding them up, okay? That's holding this up. Okay, and this is why this person is emotionally withdrawal right now because they've connected to a higher source. Okay, and that's why they're having faith and it's requiring patience, which is temperance, right? In order for this change to happen and to bring balance because it has to do with within themselves. Just this is all about light as a feather, right? That's how this works. You don't get into heaven. You don't get into, um, you know, with Toth or whatever it is, this book. You don't get in there and just say, okay, well, whatever. I hate this person. I hate this person. I don't think this, this is whatever. No, you, it comes in with light energy, with love energy. That's that's what God is. God is love, right? So this karmic relationship, can I have a card for this karmic relationship? Sorry, one second, my kids are going. Okay, sorry about that. They were getting just way too loud. Yeah, so this is the light here. So this person has stepped into like a happier frame of mind. They're, they're reaching out to the light. They're surrounded by darkness, you guys. They're looking for love. They're fearful. Like, they've probably been fearful since a child. I'm serious. So one here represents the karma from the mother aspect of unrequited love. And one is real love. You see it? So let's just see about this karmic relationship, please. Let's see about this karmic relationship, please. Thank you so much, angels and sisters. Oh, yeah, I have a couple of here. So we have the throat with the which was the blue, which we saw here with the emotional withdrawal. Okay, we have the heart chakra, which I talked about already. Okay. So this person's gaining discernment. Like I told you, discernment. You see this between a spouse and a karmic relationship. Between what is love, okay? They didn't know what was love in the past. We're seeing this very clearly, okay? The presence of love will cast out all fear. Divine feminine, be loving. Okay? We talked about this in the readings. And this is why self-love is required, okay? So there's accelerated motion coming in here, which is another eight, okay? There's a lot of movement. There's a lot of new communication. Um, eight is all about movement. But we see these stars energy here, and we're going to say that's a high frequency. Okay, we're going to say that. We're going to say that the stars are a high frequency. We're going to say that the stars are a high vibration. This person is looking, waiting, whatever it is to travel a distance. And what is a distance? The travel of distance is from not being in love to being in love, to not experiencing love, unrequited love, to experiencing full joy and love. Okay, this is the difference. The powerful presence of love. Okay, and this person has to experience this by connecting to source. This is why they're looking up, and this is why this person here is emotionally withdrawn, because they're looking for something more, okay? Now, we have the heart chakra, okay? 
all about love, all about unconditional love, all about all these energies of love. You see the light in behind the green. It's the light that is feeding the love. Another four. Okay, this is serious. Another four. This is the basis of this. And the throat chakra, expressing, creating, writing, speaking, throat, whatever it is, love. Okay, it's serious. Four and five here is a nine. We've got a nine here again. <sighs> yeah, temptation. You see this? These are fears, whatever fears they are, however they manifest through addiction, through toxicity, whatever it is, it comes into a low vibrational energy. So what is now going to surpass that? What's going to trump that? Prayer. What's going to trump that? Contemplation. What's going to trump that? Stillness. Might not be good to make a decision right now, but you have to express your love. You need to communicate that. Okay? And it's going to bring you material harvest. There's so much abundance here. There's so much value here in this singular energy. Nobody has to be in an unrequited energy because source is available to you. Okay, So now this person is getting this wisdom with this attraction. They're understanding in the future how to attract. They're gaining wisdom here. You don't have to sit in that energy of fear or control or, or whatever it is. It's too much, so I'm not taking it, but... Let's see what happens here. My readings will be an hour if I did that to you guys. <laughs> Trust me, they're very in-depth. There's a lot of information in it, but you probably do like, is she serious? <laughs> yeah, choose wisely. I'm not going to lie here. Look at this, the confusion here. Choose wisely. There's many directions. But what I love about this card is, look, it's pointing to the light. Choose the light. Choose the higher vibration. There are two birds here, okay? Choose wisely in this partnership. Choose wisely in this relationship. Choose wisely from a spiritual standpoint. Okay, this is the wisdom that this person has to have gained about attraction, about manifestation. This is what this person's really taking time about. Like, what do you want? Yeah, obstacles and challenges here. Is the options, is the choices, okay? you know and the memories of love the six of cups okay definitely this person's having some type of obstacle or they had an obstacle because the two the mental conflict between karmic energy unrequited energy and real love okay this is what the obstacle is and this is where the mental conflict is the tower and the disruption is coming is because this person has been enlightened to move into the energy of prayer which is causing some movement choices and decisions this person is having to really figure out where their value lies because it's a little bit of juggling energy hence why this person is really looking into themselves looking to gain information and possibly looking to really heal from after a lot of conflict and defeat which is there already okay so one more for the seven of cups here please oh, that's funny yeah okay that's hilarious and the sun here yeah harmony they've gained a lot of knowledge about this partnership this is the lover's card and i said this is all about love they've gained a lot of knowledge about love this is about harmonizing this is about a spiritual based relationship this is definitely twin flame soulmate connection they've gained a lot of wisdom about attraction here so there's no point about fear anymore for the divine masculine i feel like the divine masculine has come into a state of oneness energy um especially with the six this harmonization they're really trying to make a really good choice using discernment right now and they're waiting for fast communication so they can express something about the harmonization of something here we can only find that out but the sun card is here indicating that like i said this person is looking at the sun this person is looking towards our happiness yeah for this foundation here okay in partnerships and alliances okay with the crown chakra they're receiving some information to move forward into more let's say peace 
from this trauma, from this heartache, from this loss, and to really create a firm foundation so they can have their four of wands, they can have their happiness, they can have their joy, they can have their merriment, they can have their marriage. You see with this happy family in a home and they're gaining awareness, which is the magician, that they have everything that they need within them. You put your hand up to the sky, you decree and you declare it and it is done, it's a fact. So you move forward with your power, but you're just having this patience because it's growing. It's growing. Take time. Integrate the shadow. This is why I said this probably will be the dark night of the soul happening right now. This person has to see the energy of love, but they are the emperor. So they would have to have been like, I don't know how to say this, like uh, cold. But not to say that they were cold out of being cold. They did what they had to do. They had to provide. They had to work. They had to stabilize. They had to look like everything was all good. Whatever it is, whatever it is that um, allowed an unrequite situation here, this person is getting fast movement in because they're allowing higher energy, higher power, temperance, God, angels, universe. You understand? Whatever fear that held them from being able to love is dissipating. They are releasing it, okay? They are very resilient. They, they have faith. They're resilient. But there was fear here, and they are blossoming for this new beginning. Just have patience. They are receiving nourishment from source right now, okay? Please don't worry about anything i don't even know if i'm gonna pull another card on here because this has gone so long but listen divine masculine is praying for harmony in a relationship which is allowing attraction to come here because it's a lightened energy this person is literally focusing pointing their their hand towards source towards light it's confirmed here with the sun card here it's confirmed so the heart chakra is activated the the throat chakra is activated because this person is clearly aware like so aware of what's happening it's not funny okay what more if i was going to pull any card on here what would i pull here let us pull one butterfly card and call it a wrap for the divine masculine end of an era so hilarious do i even have to pull it that's pretty much heavenly signs <laughs> oh my god so amazing i love it thank you so much realizations and epiphanies okay this person is literally aware of the difference maybe even aware from this childhood state that these fears were blocking them and then maybe praying you know, to be like, I want to do more things that I love. I don't want to be left out of the cold of what I love. I have value and worth here. I can do it. And so body changes are coming in here. They're feeling lighter. You know, they're not feeling as heavy because of these emotions that were in their body. So they can take the self-care that's needed. One card, please, to summarize this from the butterflies for this transformation for the Divine Masculine. Let's see here. Courage! <laughs> I just love it. So it's like you're left out of love from your child. You go through karmic relationships that lack love. They have the material aspects. But now you're praying to actually have this love, right? And to balance this relationship, to harmonize the masculine and feminine energy in here, which is so beautiful because you actually see it twice. So you want to turn it from being opposed in the past life and you want to turn it together to where you work harmonized. You see, like this is just so beautiful. Like even though it's not the same energy, we're knowing what karmic energy is and we're knowing, you know, what this is. So this person is having the discernment, the knowledge, the awareness the wisdom, right, to attract what they truly want. And because of these cards, listen, in any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. The person wants love. Okay, you guys? Thank you so much. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>